Hey everyone, welcome back to another special video. So friends, I've started learning AI a little bit to get to know about what it is and how it works. What are LLMs and like OpenAI, Gemini, all those stuffs. So I've come up with a small basic video in which we are going to create a small React chat application that talks to Google Gemini AI. So it's going to be a very basic application. And um, uh, just to get a feel of it, Many of you might already know, many of you might not. So do watch the video till the end. And if I talk about the architecture, like what it will be, like it's gonna be very simple. We are simply going to have one React client and one Node server. The client will send a request that will be a question to the server. And then server will talk to Google Gemini, will get the answer from the Google Gemini APIs. Then that particular Node server will respond back to the react chat application so this is how it is gonna be it's gonna be interesting so do watch this video till the end and let's get started so i have already done the basic setup as we can see we have these two folders client and server inside gemini chatbot folder so if we talk about the client this is a simple react chat application that i have set up using bit or white whatever we can say i've simply run the command npm create bit at the rate latest you can simply google it so if we talk about the basic setup, uh, these are the libraries like the dependencies we have imported, the state, set message for message and chat log to maintain the chat log. Then this is a send message, the logic we are going to write over here. Then it's a simple React JSX markup. As you can see, we are running a loop over the chat logs to render sender and receiver messages. Then it is an input text input box to take the message. And this is the send button, simple nothing fancy okay and this is the server i have simply set up set it up using npm minute hyphen y so let's try to run how it looks right now so this is how it looks a simple aesthetic looking chat application okay so it's not gonna work if you are going to type anything so let's do the coding so friends first we are going to start uh, coding the um, server side so let's start coding the server side so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all the dependencies so we have got we are going to create the express server so that's why we have express to manage the cost we have imported cost and for environment variables because we are going to keep our API key in dot env file so that's why we have the for managing the env file we have dot env package and this is the Google slash Gemini npm package that we are going to make use of to talk to Google Gemini. Now, the next step is to load the environment variables that we can simply do using .env.config. Over here, if we are going to have a look at .env file, I have already pasted Gemini API key and this is the Gemini API key that I'm going to show you from where we can get it. So friends, this is the Google AI Studio from where you can get the API key. You, I will drop the link in the description box, don't worry. So this is the option to get API key. You can simply click on this and from over here, you can simply click on create API key and follow the procedures and you will be able to create the API key, okay? And as you can see, I already have my API key over here that I have simply copy pasted. Cool. Now back to the server. Now the next step that we have to do is initialize the app. So we have simply initialized our express app and the port that I mentioned is 5000. Okay. These are the middleware that we have used. Uh, it is for to enable the course and it is to parse the body. Now let's talk to Gemini API. How we can do that is simply using new Google Gen AI and passing the API key from the in environment variable that I just showed you. So now let's create our root route. So this is the root route that we have created, okay, slash. And what I've done is response.send hi, a simple hi message. Now let's start the server. So we are listening on our port and as a callback, we have passed this console.log server running on this particular port. Now create another route, route, sorry. So friends, this is the most important thing. This is the route that is app.post slash API slash chat, okay. Inside this, we are getting the message from the client. Uh, we are uh, destructuring it from the request.body. Then over here, what we have done is we have simply used ai.models.generateContent. 
ओके सो नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग फ्रॉम वेयर वी गॉट ए आई दिस इज द ए आई दैट वी गॉट वेन वी कॉल गूगल जेन ए आई राइट सो यूजिंग दिस वी कैन यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन दैट इज टू जनरेट द कॉन्टेंट ए आई डॉट मॉडल्स डॉट जनरेट कॉन्टेंट एंड वी हैव टू पास द मॉडल दैट विच मॉडल वी आर यूजिंग ओके दे आर लाइक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मॉडल्स लाइक यू मस्ट हैव सीन वाइल यूजिंग चैट जी पी टी वी हैव फोर पॉइंट ओ फोर पॉइंट वन ऑल दोज थिंग्स देन कॉन्टेंट्स द मैसेज द क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू आस्क देन वी आर सिंपली सेंडिंग आर रिस्पॉन्स लाइक रिस्पॉन्स डॉट जेसन रिजल्ट डॉट टेक्स ओके इन ट्राई कैच वी आर डूइंग प्रॉपर एर हैंडलिंग एज वेल वी आर डूइंग रिस्पॉन्स डॉट स्टेटस वी आर सेंडिंग द फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वी आर ऑल्सो सेंडिंग दैट समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग राइट सो बिफोर इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस विद द बैक एंड लेट सी इफ आर सर्वर इज रनिंग और नॉट uh let me show you the package dot json this is how it looks uh google gen ai that we have installed then cause dot env express and not demon for like uh, you know uh, continuous watching so as you can see our server one more thing um let me convert it to get for now okay why i'm doing this i will tell you message equals to hi cool let's try slash api slash chat cool as you can see this message that we are getting it is from google gemini hi there how can how can i help you today cool that's why um, that's why i like converted it to post uh, get so that we can use it like this or else we could have got so it friends we have achieved this much right now what further we can do and friends if you are wondering like uh, where is all this information available so i will drop that link as well this is all available on the npm site of this package now let's try and code uh, client app dot jsx uh, and friends this is a simple css uh, okay i will push the code uh, on my github so for reference you can take help from there now now the main task is to um, code this send message and i know many of us already know what we have what we need to do over here is simply make an api call let's do that so first before making api call what we are doing is we are checking if there is empty message then don't make any api call simply return now we are simply creating a user message and this is how it will look the structure sender you okay we are the sender then in text we are going to have the message that the user will type and we are simply pushing it in our a uh, chat log that we have just created the state and once the user press enter the input box will become empty right so over here as you can see what we are doing we are um in the ui on the ui we are showing who is the sender we or the google gemini and we are also uh, like displaying the text message right now now comes the work to make the api call so what we have done is we have simply used await and then we have simply used fetch okay and as we are running our apis locally so we are running it on 5000 right so we have uh, 5000 slash api slash chat the method is post and we have got the content type application json and the body is json dot stringify message cool now the next thing that we simply going to do is simply take the message and simply use await and do response dot json something like this and finally what we can do finally we have to simply do set chat log okay here here we are going to make use of previous so that we have access to previous all the stuff that are there and as we know we are going to destructure it okay and we are going to push the new object that will look something like sender uh let's say gemini and text will be message cool uh we can let's see where it goes okay cool something like this so this is how our code looks like a basic setup let's see if it works or let's try sending hi okay we are getting one error let's use message okay let's see let's try hitting it so 
so we got course issue now So friends, I have simply uh, I did nothing because we have already handled the course, right? So I simply um, I simply went to Cognito and tried hitting the API. As we can see, uh, we did not get course over here. So let's now have a look at. Uh, we'll, we will I will check why it was uh, getting uh, course issue on normal browser. But let's check this. So what we got is result.txt that we are sending from the server. Hi there, how can I help you today? And we are simply displaying the message over here. You can uh, like play with this, like what is to multiply by two, four. So now one more thing that we can- So friends, check. as I was talking about, this is the Google Gen AI NPM package that we are using. And all the information is provided over here. You can simply uh, like use this, play along with this. Now, another thing that we can use is um, if we want more responsive API interaction, so we can use this generate content stream to get the, okay, so it will yield chunks as they are generated. So it will be like typewriter. It will look something like typewriter, you know, uh, like um, you must have seen as the text, as the data is being generated, it will, it, it will be uh, getting displayed on the screen alongside. So let's try that as well uh, this is the server oh, no this is not the server this is the server okay and let's simply comment this and let's simply have our next method so let's have a look there is nothing to you know it's every all information is available on uh, that package i just showed you uh, we are simply using the same route so there are a few things that we have to do uh, in order to enable chunk transfer so we are setting the headers that is content type okay text plane and character set utf8 and then transfer you know, coding chunked and this is the content stream method that we are going to get from this okay and uh, i think model is the same that we were previously using yes it's same now uh, we are getting the response we are running a loop over that response and whatever chunk that we are getting we are simply writing it to the stream okay we are sending each chunk to the client and when the uh, response is done we are simply doing response dot end and the catch we are simply sending the error if any now in app.jsx let's comment it because this is not going to handle that thing so let's have a look the entire code is same the api call is same what we were doing previously we were getting or and the entire data when all the data has come we were getting it right but now we'll be getting data in stream right in chunks so we are simply going to uh, write uh, create a readable stream right using response.body.getreader and after that we are going to get create this decoder this is the ai message we have to add a placeholder okay for gemini and we are going to update it when the chunk of data arrives now we have simply opened a loop like while true okay and infinite loop you can say and this is what we have done over here is we are reading from the stream and it is returning us two values one is done and one is value when we have got the entire data if done we are simply breaking the loop okay because it is the infinite loop now over here whatever chunk we are getting we are simply appending it to our message and finally what we are doing is set chat log let me simply remove this console logs <laughs> i did it for debugging purpose we are simply adding it to the uh, chat log okay so we are getting the previous value and at the last uh, like last placeholder that we have created over here we are
we are simply um, adding this particular sender Gemini and text equals to AI message. We have to do this when we are working with uh, like this chunks. Cool. So now let's see how it uh, works. Let's say hello. Mm, it's not looking that good. Uh, let's see yeah. uh, what is the weather of Delhi. Okay, so I don't know if, if it was visible or not, but uh, you can see once again. Uh, let's refresh it, right? Uh, what is the weather? So as you can see, we are getting the data uh, like in a, we are getting chunk of data as we can see, right? If I will ask it, what is my name? Obviously, it won't remember. I, I, I'm, I mean to say, it won't know. Okay. As a large language model, I have no memory of past conversation. Therefore, I don't know your name. You haven't told me. Cool. But in Chat GPT, it will know your name. Why? Because there is memory implemented. In the current code that we are doing, no memory is implemented. Right. And friends, so, if you want to uh, learn about the readable stream I created. It is also available on the Google. Just go to this MDN uh, readable uh, stream, get reader method. And over here, you can see how to create the stream. And it returns a promise. And uh, it as a result, we can get two properties, done and value, right? Everything is on. So internet. friends, uh, this is it. This is all about this video. One small announcement. And friends, one more thing. If you want to connect with me for one to one connect or like for mock interview, anything, you can connect via this particular link. OK, and I will drop this link on the description box. Uh, stay tuned. Do watch this video till the end. And if you really like the content, then don't forget to like and subscribe and and take care. Bye.